stage right now. I'm so psyched to see this cat. Who drove the furthest to get here tonight? Who came the furthest? Uh, Who came yeah. far? Where'd you come from? Yeah, Where'd you came from far, yell it out. I want to hear it. Boo, boo, and boo. My man right here flew all the way out here from Texas, y'all. Texas. One of Houston's finest, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my man, Birdman313. Come on, Bird. Does he have a minute good? Let me help you. We have a minute good to make a Should we make it? How are everybody doing? Every time I come out here, I come and visit this spot here. I used to go to the Coffee Bean. Oh, yeah. But since they do it here, I come here. Um, you can find me, Google Birdman313. Make sure you put the 313. I'm not the rapper, Birdman. And I have to tell people that. And people have asked me the craziest question. Do you know there's a rapper named Birdman? Of course. And you can find me on Instagram, YouTube. I have seven books on Goodreads, Amazon. I have four poems on Spotify other than the channel of Coffee, Wine, and Words. I have a total of 11 books published. So, and I'm working on my 12th if the young man will ever finish it. It's finished. I'm just waiting for him to finish it. Anyway, I'm going to read three, four. Oh, okay. This first one here, I know everybody can relate to this, and it's titled Road Trip. Some of you younger ones might not be able to relate to what I'm saying, but hey, you'll get the picture. Road Trip. I remember the good old road trip days. The names of good listening radio stations in different cities and states. Listening to eight tracks and cassettes. Restaurants that welcome everyone. No internet or Google Maps to help. Watching out for speed traps whenever you cross county and state lines. The air smell like thyme and cow manure. Cotton patches, corn, and other plants grew in the fields. I had no idea where I was going. I had no idea where I was. Just a full tank of gas and listening to the rain pitter-patter on the windshield. Just me, time and space, with no plans, no destination. Those were the days. This is how I used to prepare for my road trips. Preparing for those road trips had a purpose. My old vehicle was not up to making these long trips anymore. The check engine light had been on so long why even question why? The rattling sounds become familiar. People will laugh and ask, when are you going to fix your car? I finally said goodbye to this car, called the junkyard, and took whatever they offered. Now in the days of the internet, you can download books, games, music, and movies with a click of a finger. You can locate motels and hotels and make reservations with the push of a button. You can even see what the rooms look like before you get there. You can see the nearest restaurant, liquor store, or movie theaters. Now I fly to any long distance and destinations. Rent a car to run around in or take a lift. You can get good towels, charges for toys, or extra batteries, and have something to write with, as well as get any kind of food to eat, any type of drinks you desire. Road trips of today have no resemblance to those of yesterday. Yeah. This next one here, I just wrote this one two weeks ago. It's a short piece. Um, Buffy and I always be on the Zoom, and she always said her and I was the only two that wrote the short poems. Everybody else wrote long ones. <laughs> So, this one here is Voice Between the Walls. You keep hearing voices in your room, but you know that no one is there, only you and an empty space. As you begin searching for this voice, you realize that it's coming from the walls in your room. 
Listen, you may hear strange voices, cracking and popping sounds. The walls are never quiet. Walls will speak even when you are not listening. The wall seems to know more secrets than anyone can imagine. Years of secret conversations are spoken out loud that only your inner soul knows about. At night, keep your eyes closed, but let your ears remain open. You begin to wonder if any of your past memories have been painted in a portrait and are being shared with the feeling of coldness of the heart traveling throughout your soul. Where there is silence, the walls play dead as the sun rises and shines through your curtains. How many people remember their first kiss? Uh oh, shaking his head. <laughs> okay, this is this is a short piece too. Actually, I wrote this and sent it in and it got rejected, so I guess it wasn't the best. So <laughs> it's titled like First Kiss. kiss. Huh? Sounds like my first kiss. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was at that moment on my very first kiss, while looking deeply into your eyes, I saw what I thought was stars twinkling, feeling your warm breath heavily against my chest. Nothing else mattered as time stood still, or at least it felt that way. We leaned in closely as our lips met for the first time. With our eyes closed, we trembled with nervousness and fear of a disappointing first kiss. While your presence was as sweet as your touch was gentle, our legs seemed weak and made it difficult to stand. As you drew near to me, my heart began to race. As we came closer, moving cautiously, like watching too many love stories, I gently touched your lips and face. Then it finally happened at that moment. I finally shared my first kiss. The hands of time forgot to move as we stood at the schoolyard trying to figure out why it took so long. This last one, it's titled, this is another one I wrote um, just two weeks ago because I knew I was coming out here. Oh, Cleveland Brown was going to lose this year. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, this one is titled Quiet Voice. Sometimes when we search our souls for peace, a soothing voice can comfort loud, violent attacks. A quiet voice often has more power than a loud one. Associate a quiet voice with bringing love. Whispers can come from the trees and the heavens to defeat our fears. A call from the woods or ocean front gives a restful feeling. A quiet voice awaits to move, remove pain so the sorrow can fade away. Stop resisting the sound that you hear as you watch a mist creep across the empty fields and soft waves. You may lose your thoughts. The soul may have been lost in the depth of the waves or in the fields of dry grass. You may hear a voice that you barely recognize. Think about your footprints made along the universe as you peek through the misty darkness as the sun rays gently caresses the soul. Now think about walking out into the desert, then right into a beautiful forest. As you lay down on the mossy bank, you realize it's a new day. Rest, knowing that you have traveled long and hard for this moment to meditate on a quiet voice. I wrote that after I went to my music room, and that's what I came up with. Everybody have a good night. I'm Birdman 313. I'm originally from Benton Harbor, Michigan. But I live in Houston, Texas for the past 30 years. And Jerome and I always talk about the Cleveland Browns. Good luck this year. Well, thanks, thanks. Birdman 313, everybody. Hey, yo, hey, Bird. And if the Browns do lose here, lose this year, it's Deshaun Watson's fault. <laughs> Give it up for Birdman, everybody.